The lumberjack on the bus was bigger than me and scary. I thought it was strange that he sat next to me because, well, I was the only one on the bus and there were many places he could have sat, but he chose to sit next to me. Then he turned and looked at me and he said, don't worry, I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you at all. Then he started to laugh. <laughs> I was very scared and I uh, moved away from him. And thank God he got off on the next stop. I dyed my hair and got plastic surgery, but it didn't work. Every time I rode the bus, there was nobody on the bus but me and him. The dude bothered my buddy too. In fact, my buddy told me he had perfect timing. I mean, the guy lived in my head, rent-free. I was screwed because he brought his friends. His friends tormented my friends. I took the bus every day, and every day more and more lumberjacks kept riding the bus with me. I was shit out of luck. I don't know what the dude's problem was, but I only wanted to help him, thought the lumberjack. I heard him say he was unemployed. That meant he needed a job. I already had a job, but he didn't. My friends were lumberjacks, too. I just wanted to help the bro on the bus out. So I sat next to him. But he got nervous and scooted over. And he pretended like I wasn't there. So I looked at him. I just wanted to get his attention. He had potential. He was not skinny or lame. He had a big beard. He had a lumberjack outfit on. And except for the expensive mousse he put in his hair and his trimmed eyebrows, I thought I could make a new friend out of the guy. Then he did the unthinkable. He dyed his hair and got plastic surgery. Like I can't tell when a man dyes his hair or gets plastic surgery on his face. Then his friend rode the bus and pretended like I didn't know he was his friend or that he was taking his place. He was scoping me out. I was chill about it. So I didn't say nothing, but I did keep my eye on him at all times because he looked kind of like he was on the edge. And sometimes the quiet guys are the most dangerous of all. But I was patient. I knew he'd be back on the bus again. Mr. Plastic, that is. And I'd give him another chance to become a lumberjack. But I didn't want to do it all by myself 
I wanted others to get the credit too, so I brought my friends. I figured peer pressure would be the best way to convince him that he needed to become a lumberjack. And even though chopping down trees is hard work, it's a hell of a lot better than being broke and no job. So yeah, I brought a couple friends, maybe one too many, and I didn't know they'd bring the chainsaw. Nevertheless, we gave him a chance. We were kind. And I don't know what the guy's doing now. He's probably living in his mom's basement and still on food stamps. To think he could have been a lumberjack like me.